it's always a nice surprise when you walk down to the barn you get something like this you don't just get one you don't just get two but you get three welcome back my barnyard buddies on this very special day today is the 8th of august 2024 and uh, in conjunction with morrison supermarket and uh, farmers guardian uh, what uh, what we've done as farmers the whole farming community is taken to social media they're going to take over 24 hours of uh, of all the little videos on uh, instagram youtube and all the other platforms and they're going to try to present to you what uh, what's involved with farming over a 24 hour period um, a little bit of where your food comes from how it's produced and what we do as farmers to produce that food for your kitchen table um, this is my little version of it uh, it's a little bit of insight of what we do hope you enjoy the video and don't forget like subscribe promote uh, british farming remember subscribing to a channel a youtube channel especially is absolutely free it costs you nothing once again click that subscribe button and uh, hope you enjoy the video hey old shit mills cooling up in the morning 4.5 and uh, one of the other main jobs make sure the cows are okay One or two say on robot farms, your cows never go outside. Well, that's not true. That's far from the truth. These girls are outside. Ah. We've got a few more dry cows over the road, and what they are, they're, uh, they're a little bit closer to calving. And what we do then, when they're ready for calving, we bring them from outside, and we put them down here in this uh, straw area behind the robots. And uh, if everything goes well, we're generally calving this pen down here. A uh, little white one, a little light coloured one. We did. Uh, have to give that one a little bit of help. Thanks for came backwards or breach. So what Simon's doing here is one that off somewhere. So what he's doing here is stir it slurry up underneath and then he's gonna bump it into the uh, into the round tower there at the side of us. So what I've got in here some wheat calves. These calves are uh, on a bit of bailing and we're feeding them corn as well, growing them on. They're doing really nicely for us. Keep the smaller ones separate to the bigger ones. Um, the reason we do that is to stop the bullying. Because uh, the big ones will bully the small ones, they'll eat all the corn, and then these will uh, end up short. Oh, okay, where did that come from? Right, okay, we've had a load of sawdust. That's going to keep me busy for a while. Right, this sawdust is, uh, is quite coarse. We like it because there's no dust. Um, it's better for cows and it's better for, uh, for putting down as well. But it's not just as absorbent as the drier stuff, but the health, health benefits are better. Um, and we're not breathing all that dust in because uh, it's quite nasty all that, uh, all that sawdust dust sawdust dust yeah that's right and uh, yeah so we use this it's what they call fresh sawn um, but anyway I better get it shifted it's going to take me a little while so we mix in this pink powder it smells like cherry aid and that's uh, that's to, to combat bacteria in cubicles we usually put a bag in and mix it all into the sawdust and then when uh, when we sprinkle it out in the, with a shovel, it gets thrown into cubicles. Uh, they've just changed the colour of the bags on us. So for cubicle care and keeping bacteria down the cubicles, we use this uh, ultra dry cubicle powder. And once again, it smells lovely. It smells like cherry aid. Remember cherry aid as kids? Comes in a little bottle, used to drink it. When if there's a duty calf, what we do, we put, them, uh, we put them in this back pen and we carve them down here, get them used to going into the robot. We fetch two loads of grass every day for these cows. One first thing in the morning, usually about half past six. And then we fetch another load, usually around about tea time, late afternoon. And then that'll last them uh, right through till morning. So what we'll do now is uh, zoom off with the zero grazer and go fetch them a load of grass. <laughs> you know I'm gonna fetch some grass. Just look up. To rain. We've cut that about four times now already, that's a little bit of new seed, a lot of clover in there, we'll come for that next, but we're just cutting it out of this one at the moment. I'm 
from this, we can uh, watch the open the door. That's much better. Oh, speak and span now. First one to crap in it goes in the naughty pain. Right, midday inspection. Johnny just walked through the cows around lunchtime. Make sure they're, uh, they're all doing what they're supposed to be and they're all happy. They look fairly good to me. Since I put these fans up, the difference in here is absolutely incredible. There's air movement, blood link to them. Look at these girls, they're straight under the fan. They know what's best for them, don't they? I'm gonna move these uh, animals down the road. Need some fresh, uh, fresh grazing. Come on then. But they're air making all over the place, aren't they? Yeah, well, at least we're not shifting it in freaks. All out. Right. Look the bloody best. If the whole lot run down my lane, Put them load them in your shed at bottom. Load them in shed at bottom. That might that anyway. I think of a smash in my caravan. Mm. The gate, yard gate is shut at the moment. The time we build them down lane, we run them in, load them up in that bottom. That, bottom that might be the easiest way then. But it's just, it's just, gate if, shut, it's just it? if these are football. Whether you want to have a look while they're just here. Well, we can run them across in trailer, you can't we? Here? I've got a funny bucket, yeah. But if they're football, does that want to stop you just kicking them out with ball? Um. Come on! Woo. Go on! They're all waiting, they know I'm coming. I'll get this gate shut. I'll let these, uh, let these cows have a bit more grass. We're going to save this for zero grazer, but uh, we won't. We'll, uh, we'll let cows have it. Crackers. Literally crackers. Uh, but it's all cleaned out now, all empty. So, uh, fingers crossed, it should be all right. But it's not leaking, we've checked it. Um, guys said check, check one of those windows. You see the windows all the way up? That's how we see how much is in. And also it has the weigher on as well. But uh, no, it's not leaking. It's like condensation and it's uh, got really damp and it's made a bit of a mess. <coughs> and it uh, spoiled about three tonne of corn. Hey ho, tell him money. Farming comes in uh, in many forms. Um, it's not just dairy farming or beef farming, arable farming with crops. It's not just growing what's uh, in the ground. It also comes from other areas as well. You've also got fish farming, and that's another area as well. The guys uh, out at sea, all to do with farming. So anything producing food is uh, is usually to do with farming. Another word for farming is uh, is producing food, and. Uh, we also include these guys as well, but stand back, I'm going in. Look at this lot, wow. I'll just show you what I've got on this frame. So all the cap there, there's honey underneath where it's been capped and sealed. You can just see where I broke a little bit there where those bees are and all this at the bottom 
as uh, open cells and it's uh, yet to be capped by the bees and that's where they're storing the honey for winter. This lot, they've more or less filled all this with honey now. So what we'll do, we'll put them in another box on, and give them some space and they'll fill some more. Uh, bees are attacking my camera. There's a queen in here somewhere. I can't, uh, can't just spot her. So I'll just show you that. So here is, uh, is the brood are the baby bees under cover and the cells down there which have got the uh, small larvae in and the bees will cap it and then the bees will come up and then they'll hatch out and here at the top where it's glistening a little bit of honey but they put stores around the edge so you can see all the glistening around the edge and the uh, rear the young in the middle fascinating world of bees but uh, we can't just spot the queen so yeah bees are doing well so i'm happy with that we've got an extra box they'll be all right now Afternoon. Now then, girl. Mum looks okay. Was on the farm and dollar zone uh, milk herd replacements. So in two years' time, these girls should be having a baby of their own and uh, joining the milk herd. Put them all in individual pens, destroying the bottom, keep them dry, keep them well fed. Uh, we've got uh, milks on offer constantly, 24 hours a day, it's like ad -lib. And we're lining them all up in a nice, neat row like this. All these uh, hungry little babies. There's quite a few on at the moment. I think there's, uh, there's 19 or 20 calves in here. We're an empty pen there. We're going to have to fill that. And uh, we actually ran out of pens, so we've been making some makeshift pens here at this end. And uh, he's a cheeky girl. Ah, yeah, you're a cheeky girl. You are. Ah, yeah, cheeky girl. One of the last jobs of the evening is uh, pushing up silage to the cows uh, so they can reach it overnight. Um, we generally do that before I nip in and watch my favourite YouTube channels which usually consists of uh, Tom Pebbleton, um, Charlotte Ashley and uh, I Farm We Farm they, uh, They're over in Ireland, they make some really good videos and also don't forget your Funky Farmer and uh, Sam Shutt Farming um, up in Cumbria on the moors there Sam's uh, Sheep Farmer um, She makes some uh, really quite interesting videos um, she's been worth the watch. It's her and Oliver. Uh, they really throw themselves into the sheep there. Uh, busy little, uh, busy little spot. And, uh, and Sam's also looking after five kids. I don't know how you do it, Sam. Just let the